Hey guys, it's Dr. Price with Action Potential Mentoring, and I want to talk about a left ventricular free wall rupture and what you need to know for the USMLE Step 2. So with the left ventricular free wall rupture, it's usually going to occur from the days 5 days to 14 days after a heart attack. And most of the time, it's going to be after an MI that affects the LAD on the anterior wall of the heart. And so it makes sense that the anterior wall is the one that ruptures free into the pericardial sac. That's going to result in severe hypotension and tachycardia. If it's super severe, which generally these are, these patients may progress very quickly to PEA, which is pulseless electrical activity. If somebody has a pulse, but there's nothing on their EKG, PEA, you want to remember to push epi always, PEA, push epi always for pulseless electrical activity. That mnemonic may help somebody's life be saved through your quick thinking in the hospital setting.